One, of course, I have passion for, for conservation of wildlife. The place that I get peace is when I visit the, wild, the, 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 the game parks. In fact, I spend all my holidays in the game parks. There was a time when I used to go to Zanzibar, but then I found people come there. They say, yes, come to say hello, and then they tried to take me back to, to business. So then I decided to, to, to go to the game parks. And we go to the Serengeti. Or, I've been to all the game parks, Ruaha, Serengeti, Ngorongoro. So when, 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 when I go there, I have peace of mind. You know, when you go out, you do it on the, on the game drive. So this, this, this is one thing. Of course, all the time when I'm there, I, I, I talk to our wildlife research institution people. They give me briefing on, 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 on the various wildlife research programs that have been undertaking, and through that we've been trying to, to do a lot of interventions. There was a time, for example, they briefed me that, um, in fact, I asked a question, why are there no hunting dogs in the Serengeti? They told me they were there, but they, have decided, they decided to leave the park. They actually, they, 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 they were living on the fringes of the park. They were preying on the sheep and goats of the Maasai. It's in this human wildlife conflict, the Maasai decided to kill, to, to kill the hunting dogs. In fact, one day when we were discussing this matter, they showed me pictures of a pack of 25 wild dogs dead because after, after they, 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 they ate the goats, they killed one of the goats, they poisoned the goat, so when the wild dogs again went and ate the, 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 the goat, they all died. So then I said, what do we do to, to bring back the, the wild dogs into, into the Serengeti? I said, I gave them some assignment. They started working on that. So now we, have, we, have, we, we, we started the program. Some of them I paid from, from, from my office. We already have three parks in the, in, the, in the Serengeti, and they're doing fine. In fact, the first park, when relocated into the Serengeti, first tracked track back to the, to, to, the Ngorong, to, to, the, to the place where they came from, around the Roliondo Mountains. But later, later came back. The park went, went as far as Masai Mara, and then came back into the Serengeti. So we have three parks that are thriving. We are now working on, on we, we, at least the, the, the scientists are saying, if we have, we have six packs back into the Serengeti, I think we'll have the wild. The wild. So we are, we are now working on the oryx. The oryx also are outside the, outside the Serengeti. We are, we are, we are now being, my last discussions with them has been, how would we bring back the oryx into the Serengeti? Because there are places where they, they cannot be protected. So I, I, have, I have a lot of passion for, for wildlife, and I'm doing a lot to, 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 to do the conservation. As I was saying in my speech here, the, all these efforts now to, to, to fight the poachers are part of, part of that. Well, I think the elephant, the, the elephant, the elephant problem is, 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 is a big problem. It's a big problem. You know, I have my Minister of Tourism here. There was a minister before him. Um, I think four years back, three or four years back, I sat with him in the, in the Serengeti when I, when I was on holidays. I called him. I said, come here. I, said, I'm, I'm, I told him that I'm a bit concerned with reports that I'm hearing that the, 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 the killing of elephants has, 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 has come back in, in a big way. So I said, let's do something about it. And then I told him that three years ago that if you think our, 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 our game rangers cannot, cannot manage, I'm ready to, to order the military to come and help. So I, 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 am, I, I believe that there, there, there is a serious problem. Because when, when, when you get the reports of, of the seizure of, of, of tasks, or the pieces of, of tasks that have been killed, and of course, when, when we brought in when we brought in the police and we we, we had we did this this big big big, big operation of a quiet operation with the police. That's where we 
we apprehended 5,000 people. We had another 1,000, uh, 1,900 weapons, weapons collected. So it, it, it shows that there is, there, is, there is a big problem. Of course, not, not, not all the poachers are, are into the elephant poaching. Mm -hmm. Some of them are into the, the, the game meat, the, the, meat, the, the game meat business. Um, uh, Serengeti is losing over close to 60,000 animals every year for the game, for the game meat business. So the problem is big. So I, I think what, what, what the Frankfurt Zoological Society would, would really help us is do a census of the elephants in the country. How many there are in the game parks? How many of them are outside the game parks? So that after that we will we, we'll get now a, a, a much more clearer picture. As, as I was saying in, in, in my, my, my speech, uh, my observations, that last time there was a time they said 42,000 elephants were killed in one year. Somebody, in one of the reports I said, 42,000 elephants killed. Have you seen the carcasses? Because if it is in the Selu alone, 42,000 for a year, it's, 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 it's huge numbers. But you know, people just come up with, with those statistics. I said, no, 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 I said, this is, this is frightening. This is frightening. So let, let, let's do a proper census, and out of that census, we'll know exactly where we are. Well, we've already, I've already taken that decision. I've already taken that decision. Uh, as I said, 2010, I, I, I deployed the police to, to work with the game rangers. Well, this year I, I took a decision. Now we are now going to bring in the military. And I think the task force has been, has been established under the command of, 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 of one of our army generals like, like last time. And um, they're ready to go. I'm sure any time from now, the, 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 the operation will be underway. Will be underway. And I'm quite optimistic that this operation will also help us, like the one in, in the 1980s, 89, 89, 88, 89, which helped us rebalance the, the, the elephant population. One, I would not, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if, um, if some of the elephant tusks that um, being caught there pass through the port of Dar es Salaam, you know, because th 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 these guys are, are are amazing. You know, I think there was a time I saw a, 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 a petroleum tanker, a truck. You know, people thought that this, this tanker was was moving pet petrol. <laughs> But, but the tank was, was full of elephant, elephant tusks. You know, so, so the, 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 the guys, the, the guys are, are, are amazing. I, I wouldn't be surprised. But um, what kind of support do we need? Of course, there is support we need in, in terms of, 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 of the, 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 the anti-poaching efforts that, that we are undertaking. But also, we, we need now, we, we, we need now the, uh, to... to, to to strengthen our port, the surveillance at, at the port. In fact, with, when, when there was the last consignment that was caught somewhere in Hong Kong, and when they said this consignment came from the port of Dar es Salaam, I said that that's the easiest thing to do, because they said from Dar es Salaam, Dubai, and then Dubai, Hong Kong. So I said, now, now let's work, work backwards. Let, 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 let's back, work backwards and know who is who who was responsible for the shipment of this, of this consignment. I think they, they were able to apprehend two people from Dar es Salaam, in Dar es Salaam who have been working on this. So, <clears throat> but the important thing now is, is, is really the, the scanners. Yeah. If, if we can scan all the containers. At times when they say people, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are exporting cotton, in between it could be a container that, that contains, contains uh, some contraband material. Right now, our, in, our focus has been more on the containers that are coming in, yeah. into the port. But I think we will have got to look into, of course, we, we, we need to buy, to buy more scanners. I think we have one at the port. We need to buy more scanners. If we can get more scanners at the port, you know, our major ports, I think we should be able to, to know exactly what, what, what is being exported. At the moment, and, 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 unless you get a tip, a tip from somebody that, you know, that that consignment has ivory, 
But otherwise, besides that, if that has not happened, it's not easy. So I think now we've got to institute measures of scanning every container that goes, goes, goes out of the port. But because we move about 10 million containers a year through the port, it's going to be a, 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 a daunting task. How, how, how best we can do it in, uh, in a manner that it, it won't con congest in the port and people now start running away from the port of Dar es Salaam, it's, uh, but, but we have to do it. We have to do it. Perhaps that's where the, the international community of the United States might offer sure. assistance and training and intelligence. Definitely. If, if that assistance can come, we will certainly uh, appreciate that. Of course, definitely. If, if, if that has got to be something that I call, I'm, I, I'm asked to contribute, I will definitely do that. I'll, I'll consider do, doing part of that. As I said, I, 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 love, I, I love wildlife. I, I, I love forests. You know, you'd be amazed. In, I, grew, I, 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 I grew up in a village. And when I was growing up, when I was young, there used to be huge forests around there. I, at night, you hear lions rolling. You had so many animals around. But because we were close to Dar es Salaam, to meet the charcoal demands for Dar es Salaam, all this forest is gone. All this forest is gone. So what I've done in the village now, I've I started a reforestation program. Around my own house, I've planted close to 10,000 trees. But I want to do more. So that if, I, I, I'm, still, I'm still fantasizing if, if we can see that forest come back again. It may, it may not be easy. But at least it's, it's, it's a matter that I'm, I'm, I'm very much I'm interested in, in seeing forests. Greenery is, 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 is a matter of interest to me. If we can have the, the wildlife come back. You know, I'm so happy these days because of the trees I planted that are around my house. I can see birds, I can see birds, I can hear them singing. The traditional best that when I was young, I, I, I used to with my catapult. I, 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 I see them there, I hear them sing. I, 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 get, I get so happy, I feel so happy about it. And if we can do more of that and have the, the forest cover come back again, and if I can contribute that in, on my retirement, that would be a big contribution which I'm ready to, to, to make.